Hey, hello, welcome back to my new video. This is Sampath. You are watching Sampath Sound Facts channel. As you can see, this is the Redmi Note 7 Pro. This is the Oxygen OS 11 based on Android 11, OnePlus 7 port for this Redmi Note 7 Pro. As you can see, this is the kernel version and the build number, and this is the Android 11 version. As you can see, this is the Android 11. Here, you notice a bug that the ring dialer is slow. As you can see, it's slower than any ROM as you can see it lags here but anyhow this is a very good stable ROM as you can see the notch is like one plus seven style no new notch is given in this ROM and this is the quick settings panel you get in this ROM as you can see and let me show you this one plus nine pro charging animation style this is the new thing added in this change log. I mean this update. I mean the ported ROM. Let me show you once again. If I let me turn it off the display and connect to charger. As you can see, this is the new charging animation included in this ported ROM for Redmi Note 7 Pro based on Android 11, the Oxygen OS 11. And this is the lock screen you get in this ROM. And this is the pattern, you get smaller view of the pattern in this ROM. And coming to this display and the app drawer, you get this Oxygen OS 11 launcher. And let me restart it and do check out the rebooting time of this smartphone after this update and the boot animation of this ROM. and even i have connected with bluetooth earphones and the earphones from the audio jack both are working fine even the call quality network reception everything is fine as in the any rom it's good nothing problem or any echo creating like that those things are not present in this rom and this is the booting animation you get in this rom as you can see this is the boot animation you get in this rom and it takes like 40 to 50 seconds or sometimes even 30 seconds also and this is the lock screen you get a small view of pattern and this is the live wallpapers you get in this ROM all are like oxygen OS 11 style and this is the app drawer and I installed some of the apps to test in this ROM and this is the color screen one plus calling screen you get and even the one plus messaging app oxygen OS type and this is the quick settings panel you can edit here from settings as you can see this is the settings you can use it as a one hand device anyhow this redmi note 7 pro is already compact one but you can use it even better using this os rom and coming to speed test as you can see this is the speed test you get in this rom and let me connect to my wi-fi and coming to wi-fi connection also you will get the both 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz band some people mask it these things also It's fine working as you can see. The Wi Fi connection is also working fine. Let me reload again. Okay, I have here like 100 Mbps plan, it is pulling up to 90 Mbps. It's good, nothing bad or nothing worse in this ROM. This is how the ROM works, and internet speed, even using SIM, also working fine. I used with Geo SIM here. And it's working fine and for recording purpose I removed the sim and this is the Google camera you will get Gcam 8.1 Arno build rate latest one it's working fine as you can see zooming in zooming out the settings astrophotography portrait mode camera mode and even this auto photos everything is motion photos everything is working fine as you can see 8.1.101 Gcam Based on Arno build Gcam, this is Android 11 ROM also working fine. I mean, this Oxygen OS 11 ROM based on Android. And coming to this gaming mode, there is a separate gaming mode option in this ROM. As you can see, there is separate add games, change view settings, game, gaming tools, hide games, show game icons, show instant game in games, answer call via Bluetooth. Everything is given. Miss touch prevention, graphic optimization. Everything is working fine in this ROM. As you can see, it's working fine. No problem in this ROM. 
you can enable here changing the view also is given add options instant games everything is working fine and even the gigbench 5 scores as you can see in this rom you get like this 487 single score and 1455 multi scores as you can see it's good for this redmi note 7 pro based on snapdragon 675 as you can see this the safety net status of this oxygen os 11 rom as you can see it get passed previous build it was not getting passed this is good thing in this rom and coming to file manager you will get this oxygen os type of file manager going into settings there is minimal settings and you can use it as a daily drawer this rom is fine and coming to payment options there is google pay app is also working fine you can use even phone pay also whatever you want it's working fine and this is the screen record option you get in this rom as you can see you can record the audio there's a nothing like android 11 screen recorder options only i mean the sound recorder sorry iac format and wave format both are also working fine you can record the audio using this recorder app and whatsapp is also working fine all the social media apps are also working fine no problem i have noticed so far in this rom i used this rom already two to three days i guess yeah three days and this is the quick settings panel more quick settings are given here you can enable from here and from here also you can enable this dark mode as you can see it's working fine no problem in the enabling the quick settings panel as you can see the settings panels also look like this in this rom and these are the recent apps you can scroll here it's fast nothing like laggy or anything as you can see it's working fine and coming to wi-fi and network settings you get all these settings and this is the volume panel you get and here the output is shown here if you press like that the phone speaker and coming to bluetooth and device connection as you can see these are the options you get and display settings you get adaptive brightness is also working fine sleep timer from 15 seconds to 3 minutes and advanced you get screen calibration vivid natural advanced in advanced you can change amoled wide gamut srgb display p3 gamut but any of this lcd panel you need not to worry about those settings and here you can enable or disable notch even the developer options you get some of the notch options there you can enable and this is the reading mode mono effect and chromatic mode and dark mode as you can see you can on automatically also by scheduling the time and even you can on manually vibrant color effect is also given this also enhance your display a little bit but anyhow this lcd panel you won't notice much of a difference ambient display is also working fine as you can see you can and if you're first time to this channel hit that subscribe button guys such that you will get this kind of videos by pressing that bell icon you will get first to you and if you like the video give it a like also and this is the font size you can change it here and even the display scaling status bar icon manager time display network speed as you can see i hope you see it and battery style even you can enable the battery percentage from here and battery style battery circle battery origin and bar this all the settings is given in this rom icon manager as you can see you can enable from here and screen saver option is also given as you can see let me show you the ambient display option this is like one plus lock screen oxygen os 11 and it takes a little bit of time to get that ambient display as you can see there i have noticed bug it won't lights up after screen is off and it won't be alive for so much time also once it is available i'll show you as you can see it has now came and very within a fraction of seconds it goes out so the ambient display i noticed a little bit of bug i hope in the next coming builds this is fixed and wallpapers clock on ambient display as you can see in the customization you get all this kind of clock style for ambient display as you can see i applied this let me go to cancel and save this clock style and this the fingerprint animation anyhow we don't have fingerprint here i mean in, in display and these all the ac accent color picker you can pick it out from here 
from here you can change it out and system icons also you can change square teardrop rect rounded rectangle and rounded one even the icon pack also you can change here o1 plus round square or these all the options are again as you can see after changing it you will get this kind of look and this is how the oxygen and this the ambient display sometimes it works as you can see it does not light up once the screen is off but it will come after some time and even it will disappear very soon that's what the bug i noticed in this room but other than that and it's comparing that previous build the oxygen os 11 beta 2 this is very very stable you can as you can see the ambient display is woke up now and it disappears within a fraction of seconds and this is a very good rom even considering the battery life the performance everything is working fine in this rom you can definitely use it as a daily driver or if you want to try this rom also you can definitely try this it's better than some of the roms previous oxygen os build roms such that these are the sound and vibration settings as you can see dolby atmos is added icing on the cake on this rom it's working fine some difference you will definitely notice from other ROMs to this ROMs there is that change you will definitely notice in terms of the audio experience of this even the earphone mode is also given notification ringtone in earphones these options are also given as you can see system sounds and touch vibration I mean the haptic feedback from here you can enable or disable out and buttons and gestures here you get that alert slider it will close this up because we don't have special button here and navigation bar and gestures here you can enable that in the old style the three bar navigation buttons as you can see if you want like that you can enable here and if you want that left and right gestures i am using it currently you will get that google pill downside or if you want to there is one more option also and press and hold and power button those quick gestures are also given in this rom and security and lock screen here we get plenty of options as you can see and this uh, latest security patch update and in the security update i mean settings here we'll get fingerprint unlock even the face unlock as you can see let me add my face data and i will come back I have added my face data it took like 30 seconds and you need to rotate your face and this how as you can see the face unlock option is also working fine security options are all are working fine in this room and this is how the settings panel is and digital well-being and parental controls those are also working fine as you can see most of them don't use it this but anyhow I am specifying it and in utilities you will get this parallel apps app locker and quick launch settings and even the app locker facility is also available in this ROM. You can enable the apps which are you want to lock the apps. Schedule power on off, quick reply, and landscape, those things are also given in this utility settings. This is the system settings, you get accessibility settings and reset options and OTG storage and experience improvement program multiple users, those are also given here. And this is how the Oxygen OS 11 port from oneplus 7 to the redmi note 7 pro and these are the recent apps from downside you can clear all and if you want to take a screenshot you can take three fingers swipe to take a screenshot or the volume down button and the power button pressing it also you can take the screenshot this is very good wrong you can use it as a daily driver it's much better than earlier previous oxygen os builds and you can clear app here you can even see the app animation downside as you can see those features are all present no major bugs i noticed as of now only that bug is you cannot dial that android 11 logo and the ambient display one and coming to gaming settings as you can see you get this smooth and ultra settings in this game or even in the hd and ultra settings and if you like the video give it a like and if you are not subscribed to my youtube channel hit that subscribe button also and also allow the notification bell icon such that you will get the videos first to you and gameplay is also very good it is not a gaming rom or anything like that but anyhow you can play it's very good comparing the previous roms
Team match, let's go. The blue team has scored for the first time. Target down, enemy down. Cover me. The blue team is unstoppable! The blue team is unstoppable! Killing spree for the blue team! Enemy down! Is in the lead. Expired. Killing spree for the blue team. The blue team is unstoppable. The blue team is unstoppable. Lost the lead. Lost the lead. Need back up! Reloading! Cover me! Changing my... Close, fighter. Heads up team, enemy UAV spotted. UAV recon standing by. Repeat, UAV recon is standing by. Be advised, hostile hunter killer drone inbound. Predator missile on standby. Target's in sight! 
Tango down! Contact. Need backup. Friendly hunter killer drone deployed. Objective almost complete. Keep it up. Predator missile inbound. Dog is in sight! Reloading! Cover me! Tango down! Changing lag! Need backup! Enemy down! Tango down! Target down! <laughs>